LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead. This video was inspired by General Africa. And uh, shout out to General Africa, man. Definitely had me looking up some things last night because I dropped a, a motivational video to uh, my, my Brazilian sister, um, Claudia Cadelia. You know, dropped a video. And, uh, you know, I'm, the topic of this video really is why why some athletes they just never reach the pinnacle of their success why they fail and you know you got a lot of negative people man people are just negative and it's like they can't ever say anything positive on any situation they negative they just negative and it's like you know people leave in comments you know i'm i'm sitting here and i'm just motivating the girl for whatever reasons you know she feel like hey i might can't get it done right now you know whatever reasons yeah i mean you know it don't matter what the reasons but there's a doubt, and as a coach, me being a coach, I enjoy taking a doubt out of my athlete's mind. I take the doubt out of their mind. See, a lot of times, too, when an athlete, they go off and they say that, well, I don't think so. You know, a lot of times, it's a quick fix. And it's a quick fix is, is more of, you know, the people around her who they have her best of interest. You know, they need to instill that sense of, you know what, you can go do anything. Because as an athlete, so many things can go wrong. When you're an athlete, so many things go wrong. But the fact of the matter is, these athletes, at times, they get to the point, and some of them do feel like, hey, I don't know if I can get this done. And there are a lot of athletes like that, man. It's a lot of athletes like that that they haven't reached the pinnacle of their career. Some athletes, they don't need outside forces. They don't need any forces because... They're already self-motivated. Like, they already do what they need to do. But some athletes, you know that they got the talent. You know. But it just needs, like, that outside voice to just help bring it out of them. Whether it be a, a friend or a coach or a family member, they just need just a, a little bit of outside motivation. And you got negative people. And see, these people, these people that, you know, they always got something negative. They can't say anything right. You know, and I just be deleting that kind because they're so stupid. They're so stupid. You know, they always got something to say negative. And that's because they negative people because they ain't done a darn thing in their life with their athletic careers. And then see these fighters and these athletes, you know, they listen to too many people like that. That ain't got nothing, that ain't got nothing positive going on in their life. And some of the uh, negative uh, energy of this person that they hang around, it rubs off on them. So now they start putting themselves in, in this realm of, of, of being average. That's what they do. See, that, that's how it is. Negative people don't, don't do nothing. They don't do anything. The only thing they do is they sit back and they hate on the success of others. That's what they do. They can't say anything positive. You know, even if it's fighters that I completely dislike, I still go acknowledge their greatness in the, in, in the ring or the octagon. I'll acknowledge it. I'll put it out there on blast. I will acknowledge it. And I'll acknowledge any fighter that's taking, you know, putting in the hard work. But see, these people... These people, these negative people that came to my video, you know, trying to, you know, distort the message. See, they came to my video trying to distort the message. But see, you couldn't do it. You can't distort the message that's pure and righteous. See, you can't distort a righteous message. See, you can only distort a message that's based on hate. But none of my messages are distorted and based on hate. So, see, I know when you guys come in, you're already giving me an outside. You're giving me an open invitation into your life into your spirit and you're giving me an open invitation into your soul you just don't know but i know you negative and i know you got stuff going on oh yeah you can say you can laugh type of stupid comment it, it, it's fine but see i already know what it is i know what it is the athlete hanging out with too many people like that another thing why athletes fail is because they want to take a shortcut so many athletes you know, they don't want to go in and they don't want to do the work that's necessary. They don't want to do it. That athlete the other day asked me about taking creatine. I said, uh, why would you want to take that and mess up your kidneys? Well, I mean, and you know, okay, they missed the point. They completely missed the point that mess up your kidneys. See, they missed that point. Why would you want to do that and mess your kidneys up? They missed it. Well, you know, because hey, everybody else is doing it. So I said, so everybody else messing up their kidneys? No, coach, but they getting the gains out of it. And, you know, I said, you know, a true champion don't need supplements. A true champion only eats food. 
but coach, I can't compete with those people on that level. I said, guess what? I said, I guarantee you in 12 months time, now it may take you 12 months, it may take them four. I said, in 12 months time, you know what's gonna happen to you? I said, you're gonna dominate. Because see, you will have built your body up the natural way, the way God intended it. See, these people, they, they're they not gonna dominate. They'll dominate for a short period of time. I said, then there'll be injuries. I said, then there'll be setbacks. I said, then there'll be a plateau where that person will level off on their athletic ability. Because see, there's only so much you can train with, with uh, strength and speed. There's only so much you can do, but see, skill, skill, you got to train for skill. And I said, while they're taking supplements and training strength, we're going to train our strength, but we're going to spend 90% of our time working skill. And I said, at the end of 12 months, I said, you'll be the best out there. And I've had this conversation over 55 times with athletes that come to me about supplements. And we say no. We say no. We say no to all that stuff. We say no. And every single time, in about six to 12 months, the athlete that, to me, that train with me, that don't use any supplements, that we just work hard, guess what? They always go and beat these people taking all these anabolic substances and all this crap because I believe in, you know, putting in that hard work, putting in any amount of work into this thing that's going to make you successful. That's what I believe in. Some people don't believe in it. But a lot of athletes are not willing to go in there and do what it takes. They're not willing to go in there, you know, six, seven hours a day, seven days a week. They don't want to do that. They want to sit there. They want an easy way out. They want to do X, Y, and Z, but they don't want to work. And that's just how it is. Then I tell parents, you know, that bring their kids, and I'm like, you know, the kid got talent, but they're lazy. And I, I can't deal with lazy kids. See, so there's one thing. You can deal with somebody who got, you know, issues. I can deal with an athlete with issues, and they'll work hard. I can deal with them because... I already know that the issues come from something in the house. Usually with the girls, it's an issue with the daddy. Usually with the boys, it's that issue of them feeling abandoned, that nobody don't care about them, that don't love them, like no one loves them. That's how. To, see, usually it's one of those issues. Then see, when I understand what their issue is, I can attack their mind, and then eventually what the body does, the body follows. So I already know. So you got to put it in on that, on that level. And another thing, <laughs> why people are mediocre, why athletes never reach the pinnacle, is because they have the wrong coaches, the wrong people in their corner, the wrong coaches, the wrong people trying to teach them, you know? There's one thing, you can work hard, you can have the right attitude, but then if you don't have a person that's knowledgeable, I'm talking about somebody there that's knowledgeable who's going to take the time if it's something they don't know, because look, coaches don't know everything. All coaches, all coaches don't know everything, and if all coaches knew everything, then all coaches would be successful. But if you don't have a coach that's willing to go take the time to research things that he or she don't know, I'm talking about research. Because in your area where you live at, you may not be, you know, you might not have access to different knowledgeable coaches. There might be a handful. I know if it's something that I don't know, I research. I research. And I research until I find out everything that there is to know about the situation. And then I go and do it. Like, you know, when I was coaching, I was coaching a couple of distance runners. I didn't know anything about the 800 meters. But guess what I did? Because, you know, my background in track and field was heavily, um, I, I did the throws, you know. Shot put, discus, hammer, javelin. Those, those are my specialties. And here I am, you know, I'm learning how to, you know, coach the 800 meters. But I did it. And I was successful. I researched. I research, man. I research until my ears went blue to make them athletes successful. But see, that's what proper coaches are going to do. That's what they're going to do. Real coaches will do these. It, you know, but, you know, certain coaches that don't care, that ain't trying to get the best out of them athletes, they ain't going to research. They ain't going to try to prepare. They ain't going to study. They ain't going to do anything. They're just going to sit back, shout instructions, and then that's it. And the athletes still don't progress because they're not researching technique. I see it around here in this area. I see athletes... For two and three years, they don't progress. They don't do nothing. They, they, their athletic performances still are not, you know, they're not even above average. And it's crazy. And then when they got to graduate that last year, then they want to come to me and my buddy. Now they want to come to us. They've been watching us have athletes go in there and just dominate, okay? Been watching us for years. And then the last, but, but you know why? But you know why they do that? Because here too, you know, we have our share of haters. Oh, we got our share of them. 
and they and boy they they be on and popping. Don't go over there to them two. No, -uh, don't go to them two. Don't go to them two because if you go to them two, they gonna have you doing this, and you gonna be out all time at night, and you know you ain't gonna be prepared. You, you know, see, it's people telling these people all kind of things, and of course people so dumb they believe it because all they see is that we work hard. And they don't want their kids getting chastised. You know, they don't want them kids being held accountable. So, me and my buddy, a lot of times for years, they'll look at us, see us working out, see us, you know, doing all kind of stuff with all these kids. And the next thing you know, these kids are just completely blowing their children out the water. But then they want to come to us the last year because ain't nobody offering them no scholarships. Ain't nobody knocking at their door. But see, they've had the wrong coaches. And the right coaches, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna see things that you can't see. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off short here, okay? Stop listening to haters, okay? Get the right coaches in your corner. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.